Okay, um, just to show you guys, uh, I'll say hi to Sam. Hi, Sammy. Sammy's always here with me. Wherever I go, Sammy's with me. Okay, just to show you guys, uh, that corner also has some loose laminates uh, on the back side of the C-bout. And uh, it's the treble side lower C-bout. So I went ahead and did the glue repair on both of them and then put a spool camp on, clamp on it. So here we go. See, spool clamp. Both, both sides of the laminates, the back and the top. I put a little bit of wax paper on there. The glue won't stick to the wax paper. And I clamped those down because those were separating and you could clamp them down. You see this one here, that's separating there. Okay, now then on the back side we have a whole bunch of little chips. But there's only a couple places where there is lamination separation. And you can see these chips here, like that one right there. I've got uh, little, little, teeny little edges of glue on there. That is to prevent what's called sizing the edge. And so we're sizing the edge with glue so that you will not get laminate separation later on. This, if, except for the neck, this base is an exception. Hi, uh, today we're gluing seams on our Cleveland King blonde base. So, uh, I've already done one, and I'll show you what it looks like with the spool clamps on it, and then I'm getting ready to do another seam, and I'll show you how we do that one. So, here you can see, this is the bunghole of the base with the saddle. Uh, the saddle's right here. I have a thin piece of wood over the saddle and my split was from here down to here. So from just outside this spool clamp to just inside this spool clamp. And uh, this base is turning out really, really nice. I'm really, really impressed with it. So she's going to make a fine instrument. So now I'm getting ready. To do this one here, excuse me, I've only got two hands and no. Alright, All right, I've so got here. a small wooden drift right here where this seam is separating. And that opens up a little bit. You can see a couple of secondary cracks here in the veneer. And especially right there, there's, you know, big secondary cracks. So we've got to fill all this with glue. And then we have to clamp it. So what I'll do is I'm going to use a couple of techniques. First, I'll use the syringe, which works great. And then we use the straw. And what you do with the straw, so you don't open that, uh, that seam up any further. Some people work the seam up and down and up and down. And Joe does that, my wonderful uh, mentor. But I came up using a straw. So after you lay a thin bead of glue along the seam, you blow the glue in. I have the end of the straw crimped and heated a little bit so it just comes out in a very small s stream. You can see there. And so that actually pushes the glue in. So I don't have tripod with me today, I'm sorry, but uh, we will get it done, and uh, I'll try and show you while I'm doing it. Uh, really hot day today, about uh, 97 degrees right now, even in the basement. We've got uh, four clamps here at the end block, three clamps here at the lower treble bout, and one here at right at the top of the, the C bout or cut bout and the upper treble bout. And that was the only seam separation. And so tomorrow, I don't know if you can see this moving. Yeah, you can see it moving. That neck gets glued tomorrow. Or fingerboard, I'm sorry, not neck. Fingerboard's going to get glued tomorrow when I first get in. And should probably get strung out tomorrow. So I hope you enjoy this. And uh, I know I didn't show you much on this one, but it's the same as we did on the other base. Um, except I got a lot more intent on the sizing. And we're getting uh, ready to do this fingerboard on the King base. So, hmm. Let let's show you what's going on here. Okay, right off the bat, you can see whoever did the repair on the crack neck, they just pinned it right through the fingerboard. You're supposed to lift the fingerboard off, 
pin it and then put the fingerboard back down. Well, there's not much we can do about that now. We'll clean that up a little bit, but there's not much we can do about that now. But what we do have to do, if you can see right here, oh, yep, she's a moving. So what we're going to do, we're going to squeeze some hide glue into this baby and clamp her down strap clamps and one bar clamp. Okay, when you're working with hide glue, you got to be pretty darn quick. Um, it sets very quickly. So I've got the glue in the syringe. I've got to have all my clamps set up pre-fit and ready to go. So this is a strap clamp here. And pull one side out and fit her over the neck. Slide her up. One strap clamp on there. Uh, yeah, two maybe. Put two on just in case. Now, when you get to side camp so far, you can squeeze the ends and pull a little screw off. 